What's up, YouTube verse? It's Tim Diggity, aka TIM. All right. So we know from yesterday, if you saw my video at least, I got a flat. Look outside. You can't see outside, but look outside anyway. It almost looks like the sun's trying to come out. God, why hast thou forsaken me with this flat here? That's how I'm feeling today, and it's Sunday, you know? But what we're gonna do in anticipation of the slime arriving, as well as, I'm not gonna lie, I ordered inner tubes. I hope they're the same size. It's like, I don't know, trying to find what fits was, was, wasn't really the best thing here. So let me show you what I'm working with here. So I got, I got the, uh, got the scoot up in the air. So I'm gonna be taking off this on both sides. Uh, online they said 19, but 21 millimeter. And then there's all these little screws just in here. Uh, there's maybe six of them. And the, the tire should come apart. All right, coming around to this side. So the, you got to take the uh, caliber off for the brake. So I saw online just these two bolts lifted off. Shouldn't have to do any bleeding or anything because I'd hate life if I have to. So here's where we are. Like I said, there's my tool set up. I got a little T-wrench. Uh, actually, I got a little T-wrench set from Harbor Freight. Hello. You know, you see my stand here? That's my, that's my, uh, put my stuff on workbench right there because I don't feel like rolling anything else out. Then I got the Allen key set that, or wrench, whatever, that they sent in the bag to help in case I can't find what I need. All right. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. Be right back. All right, so here we go. I got my gloves on. You know, if I'm gonna play mechanic, I might as well play mechanic, right? You know how that go. Shucks. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, y'all. Now here's the kicker, though, right? The scooter's not quite, you know, stable. So, take the screw off on both sides, you know. It's got a little uh, washer that's like a lock washer that you put in there. So you probably, so I'm, it's not probably, I'm going to need a, a flathead. So I'm going to take that off and I'll be right back. All right, so I went and got a flathead screwdriver. There it is right there. So it's actually a little loose. You know, I just had to tap on it a little bit and let it come out there. Boom, bang, boom, bang, bing. And there it is. So there you go. Uh, always remember, keep your stuff together. You know, try to keep it in the order in which you took it off just in case. All right. So um, naturally, I'm not going to show you both sides because it's the same order. So I'll be right back. Hey, YouTube universe. So I had to grab a couple more items. I had to get some uh, wire cutters and also some uh, some tie rats. So. I'm one of those people that, it, you know, I see it sell. I'm like, wow, that's not a bad deal. May need it one day. Today, I need these tie wraps. Because if you look back here on the back of the bike or the scoop, I don't know if you can see it, but it's one here, a tie wrap here, and a tie wrap here. And that's to hold the uh, power cable to the motor. Because when I take it off, you're going to see that it is affixed to the motor. I don't want no trouble with that. So I'm not going to take that off. Hey, something I noticed here. I, I took off the caliper, right? The brake caliper. And that little writing on there says, use only mineral oil. That's crazy. They talking about hydraulic fluid. I don't know if you can see up in there, but that's what actually stops the, the little scoop. Them little teeny weeny brake pads right there. They probably cost your arm and a leg for nothing. All right, so I already took one of these little Allen key screws out that actually holds the uh, wheel in together. Let's see it right there and there. I'm gonna sit this down here, give you guys a shot of, you know, just to see. I mean, these, these joints are in here pretty snug though. I give it that. So, gotta make sure you put them back tight the same. All right, so it turns out I need rubber mallet to help on the, the motor side. And boom, look at that. So, so easy. Whoa, the scooter's heavy. All right, folks. So here's what it looks like when you take the wheel off. So one thing I did notice is the um, the axle rod or whatever you want to call it, it has a flat side. 
and that's how it fits into the uh, the arms that actually hold it up so easy to put it back on once I realized that and the reason I sat that back on there after I took the wheel off or the tire off is to counterbalance the weight from the front so at first I had to slide the scooter back you know until I put that back on, until I put the motor back on there so here are the six screws I was talking about the six of them you know, there's a total of six so I mean so far these are my tools that's my other set of stuff and the mallet all right so let's get finished all right so I take the wheel off right and this is what I'm noticing can you see how let me get in the light a little bit here so you can see how all right that ain't really help but you can see how the tire is just like not sitting in there like it should so maybe I got a pinch from the rim itself I don't know I'm gonna take it out and uh, find out you know if there's a hole in it or if there's a hole in the tire so and I'm gonna use the old bucket and water routine because you know I'm old school all right be back all right so pumped up the tire pump up the tire yeah yeah I ain't ready for this so it looks weird look at this s yeah it looked like the elephant man or something so but I can uh sort of feel the air coming out I'm just gonna tuck them in the bucket Put them in the light a little bit. See if we got any bubbles. All right, I found some bubbles. Right towards the top here. That's the easy part, right? So we appear to have a leak somewhere down here. You know, I can't feel it. But you see the bubbles coming out? I just can't feel it. All right, further investigation. Do, 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 do. Chicken dinner. It's on the side. Y'all see the bubbles? You probably can't see that little teeny weeny little mark there, but little mark, mark ass tire. But it's a little teeny weeny little thing. Dry it off on my pants. It's like right there. You barely see it. I think that was from it being folded, from it being folded over on itself while it was in the rim. And then when I, you know, start doing my X X whatever the hell they call it you know x extreme stuff on the on the trail and you know willian and y'all ain't see that on camera when i was willian because you know my battery died yeah it's a true story but anyway yeah i think it pinched so uh wait for this slime to come i think it's taking too long already i know i might have to go to the store and buy it like i just should have done to begin with dummy but anyway as well as the inner tube so see how well this slime works but uh anyway get back to this 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 wheel setup i like it you know this is the half and all you do is slide it on there line it up with those bolts those screw holes or whatever it's got a little dent right here which is where the stem for the inner tube goes the stem for the inner tube sticks out there that way there it comes out just make sure when you put it back you know that you uh uh, put the inner tube in the tire and don't have it hanging over this part of the rim you know over this part of the rim like it was when I took it off you know I know they the quality control is like bananas over there I guess they're trying to rush them out so you know when I get that x7 I might just take the back wheel off just to make sure the inner tubes lined up although it's not for off-road it's got it's got a uh, city city tires if you will so all right let me get to it be back all right, so here's what I've done so far. Taking the wheel off, taking the tire off. Here's the rim, there are the gloves, tools, tire. I submerged the tire in the water because there was some stuff in that was in the inner part of the tire that I couldn't get out. So, you know, I ran it in there, rolled it around, hopes that it uh, washed everything out. All right, there's the inner tube. Oh, 
crazy looking ass in it. You look like the alien, how it's all deformed right here. Look at it, it's got like the alien bump head on it or something. That that just shows you right there, what sit, it wasn't sitting in the rim properly. You know, come on Yumi, you hold, you're trying to carry me like that. Not appreciate it, but you can see the floaties in there as well. Who knows, there's a number of things that, that could have gone wrong that, that caused my inner tube to ruin my Sunday. You know, and not like I don't have to go to work tomorrow. What's going on around here? You know, the world's going bananas. So I'm in the pause in the stand still right now. Um, the debate is, do I just go to the store and end up with two bottles of slime? Nine times out of 10, the answer is hell yeah, because we trying to ride a little bit today as well. So we'll see. Yumi Chronicles. That's what I'm calling them. Yumi Chronicle Chronicles. If I can say it right, I'm calling it that. All right, I'll holler back. I'll be back with the catch up video, right? So yo, I got lucky because it was one thing that I kept saying I got to remember to do and I didn't remember to do it, but I got lucky. So on the tires, they have these little arrows that point towards the front. You got to make sure you put the tires back on there the right way where they're pointing towards the front. And also another thing I think I got lucky on was when I put the tire in, the inner tube back in the tire, I, um, I put them in with the stem pointing up or away from the hub. So, I mean, I'm gonna show it to you real quick and I think you should see what I'm talking about that it looks like I might have a little more uh, room to to actually uh, put the valve cover back on it, the stem cover. So, here you go. See, this one's pointing up before it was pointing down. That's why I got the, and I had to go in there and pry that out. Now, I don't know if that's gonna make a difference if that's gonna make a difference when I go to pump this up or not. But uh, hey, we'll find out. So, oh, oh, a couple other things, all right? So when you're putting these screws back in here, all right, yeah, you want, yeah, PIA right there, pain in the, yeah, yeah. So put them cat a corner first, just so that you hold the thing with Jiggy in there, the, you know, the two parts of the rim together, and then go around and uh, put them in. And then I snug two of them, and then I, that, then I put the, tie, the wheel back on there as well. So once I did that, it was it was um, easy going from there. All right, I'll be back. All right, folks. After knocking the GoPro over, moving it out the way, finding my tie wraps, uh, figuring out that um, how far to put the the brake caliper cap back on the brake, the disc. I got it back on there. There it is. There's the wheel. How about that? So. Just make sure you do it, uh, take a methodical approach to it. The way you take it off, the way you put it on. The way you tighten it or untighten it, it's the way you reverse when you tighten it. All right? Now, believe it or not, the hardest thing for me was getting that doggone little tie wrap to go down right here. I don't know if you can see it, but that little one right there. So it kept going between the, the, uh, the disc, the brake disc, but that's fine. So, but it's on there. Um, I spun it up, you know, did a little quick run around. Well, I didn't, I didn't drive it because the air is now, of course, the air is coming out again. So let me uh, show you what I did here. This, don't do this. This is, don't do this. Don't, I don't recommend this, but yeah. See that? Got the wheel moving. That's mode one. That's mode two. Mode three. I let it go. And hit the brakes. I didn't even realize I had brake lights. <laughs> you know, I'm just out here. All right, so, all right, um, Amazon's taking too long. I hate Amazon right now because they're taking too long and I want to know if, if that slime is going to work or not or if I got to wait for the inner tube. So I'm on my way to the store to buy some slime from the store. All right, peace. All right, so just as I was about to head out and go get the slime, I get a little message pop up my slime from Amazon is out for delivery between one and three. So I, I, guess, I guess I can wait an hour and a half or so. I don't know, we'll see. The battery on this GoPro is about to die as well. I gotta change that. These things don't last long. Maybe I ought to take it off this 4K stuff because it takes forever to process. All right, peace, be back. Hello, YouTube-verse. It's your boy, Tim Diggity, AKA TIM, I'm back. <clears throat> so I was patient. I didn't go to the store. I waited and it came. I love Amazon again. Slime. 
So now let me read the instructions and pump some air into this. Well, put this stuff in the tire and then fill it up because the tire is flat. That thing is flat. So I got to sit them down, take them off the stand so that uh, gravity can do its work. And so can uh, weight. All right. I'll be back. All right. So it was this little black cat that came with it. And you put it on a little air pin that's inside here. You unscrew it, so I left it on there. Then you take this tube. Now it says four ounces um, for a bicycle, bicycle. So I'm gonna go two ounces like I saw on TV. So you put this little tube on top that's typically right here in the side. You stick that on here, which uh, for me, I ended up grabbing another flathead to pry it out so I can really work that on there. Because if I, uh, it's not even working like that. I'm trying to prevent it from pushing itself back in so I can put the hose on there. All right, I'll figure that out. All right, so I ended up grabbing some, some pliers to hold the tube. And then I went back to the flathead to pry it so that I could uh, slide the tube all the way on. So then, according to this, it's got um some markings right here on the side as well. To show you the ounce the amount of ounces and stuff I guess you can see them see it right there so I'm just gonna go about halfway in between that line as you just squeeze it in Not the best uh, marking indicator thing to jiggy. So I'm gonna stop right there, you know. I'm thinking that that's about four ounces. So it's a little, actually, a little more than the two that I said. So, um, yeah, well, you know. More is better than not enough. I'm gonna go with that. So, all right. I don't know. I don't even know why I put this air pump back because I uh, gotta fill it up with air. All right. So I'm gonna save you guys from the noise of the air pump. So I, I'll be back. Quick note: Don't forget to put the pin back in. The little pin right here that I was talking about that I left attached to the cap. Because other than that, you're just filling it with air to turn around and it's gonna come right back out. So. That'd make a difference so all right all right so now we'll jack it back up put it up in the air and run the uh, run the spin the motor so that the slime gets to spin around and stuff so you get to get an idea of my jack in action i guess i wrote well, was front wheel as well I don't have to go as high as I had to before, so I'll just do it till that locks. Yep. All right, let's turn them on. Oh man, I got the power on all this time. Now I got it down on one, so I'm gonna let that run for a little bit. Let the back wheel roll in case you don't see it. Well, it doesn't say how long to roll it, so I'm gonna call that a day right there. All right, be right back. All right, so he's back on the ground. I'm gonna um, give him a few minutes to see if that air comes out like it did before. Then I'm gonna try and take it for a ride. So I gotta gear up. All right, so far it seems like it. Let's try it out. It's cold out here and I got on joggers, so we ain't going too far. I'm also trying out this uh, mic on top of the helmet. The, uh, that, that mode thing or whatever that supposed to filter out the wind noise. So let's see. 
let's see how far we get before it starts feeling like I gotta say it feels normal wait here we go um it may need some air but it's not flat like it was how's that because you can feel it when it's flat because it's like blump 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 and almost feel like it's uh like it's moving you around sort of i ain't messing with the uh with the trail today so wait i'm in one sitting here about to freak out what? yeah i think it's doing all right i can't really tell put some weight on it make it go up and down but also test out this mic to see if that uh that little cushioning screen filter thing actually does what it says and <coughs> filters out the wind so that you guys can hear me without a little wind blowing in the, into the microphone and stuff all right i'm gonna come up here to the corner and uh turn on this uh this gps I mean uh, the speedometer to see if this speedometer is out of whack like I thought it was yesterday after I got off the trail. All right, hold up. All right, I'm ready. As soon as this car goes by, well, let me check this tire before I get too far out. It seems like it's holding air. Whoa, whoa, we picking up again. Coming off the ground again. You know what? I should put some in the front just to because I got it for one. That's for one. And for two, just in case, like for little stuff, as long as you're not constantly getting poked with it, it seems like it fills it up. But again, like I said, I honestly think that it was because of the uh you know pieces of things that was left inside the tube inside the wheel when it was put together because it's a two-piece wheel as well as uh the way it was overlapping so but you know how that goes who knows right all right let's have a little bit of fun here so the wind's blowing so oh, okay so i don't really know whether or not uh that, that thing is working. Definitely. Yeah, let's head back to the house. Short ride. Short ride. Alright, I'll let you know. How it went okay youtube reverse i'm back so far so good it seems like that uh slime worked um like i said i still got inner tubes coming tomorrow um we'll see if if i come out tomorrow and, and if or try to ride or something and it seemed like some of the air came out you know then so be it it's crazy though i went for a little short ride and came across another dude out here riding a scooter he was on a nan robot you know I, I rode that Woo, yeah big difference out the gate he you had to take it slow you know i went i didn't even go far i went down a little bit turned around came right back it was like here you go bruh you know what i mean but anyway so here it is so uh, again like and subscribe if you like if not holla at you peace